What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Boston Red Sox versus Baltimore Orioles. Major League Baseball matchup going down Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my Major League Baseball 2024 season pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game of Major League Baseball this season. What it's going to do is it's going to get you the access to the weighting and rating of my plays. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. You're also going to get access to the plays that I can't release at Pick Dogs based on you know when I have to release them throughout the day. Plays that are based on uh, money moves, line moves, um, you know injuries, uh, pitching changes, lineup scratches. You're also going to get access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in and that's the bankroll you're working with, text 775-636-7674 and we'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. The Boston Red Sox setting up Ryan Bayo to the mound in this one, while the Orioles will counter with Corbin Burns. And uh, Burns has looked really good so far for his new team. I mean, a 1-0 record, a 2.31 ERA, has back-to-back home starts against Kansas City and the Angels, and you know gave up three runs with 14 strikeouts, but a little bit less effective in his last start. Gave up two runs on nine hits, only three strikeouts with 100 pitches against the Royals. And the problem for the Orioles in that first series was that, or I should say in that series against the uh, the Royals, was that you could argue that the the Royals were the better team for, you know, the, at least the first six to seven innings for the majority of those games. Um, and it was Baltimore that, that, you know, won a couple of those late. They wanted a walk-off home run on April 1st. They wanted a walk-off, I believe, on, uh, on April 3rd as well. And it helped them win two of the three games in that series. But, you know, I'll tell you, when you got to that series against Pittsburgh, it kind of, the, the, the script kind of flipped. You know, it went from, you know, the Orioles' bats winning it late to the Orioles' bullpen choking it away. I mean, they did it in each of the last two games against the uh, against the Pirates. Lost Saturday's game in extra innings and uh, then lost Sunday's affair because Yenier Cano couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat when he was trying to deal with the, uh, the Pirates in the ninth inning. And, um, you know, he couldn't find the strike zone. I just, I, I'm concerned that that's going to be the case for Cano for a good chunk of the season. I mean, when... The Orioles had Felix Bautista in, in the lineup in the closer role. Usually the, the Orioles were automatic. I mean, you have certain guys who are just closers. I just don't think Cano is meant to be in that role. And after that performance, I don't even think he should even be on a major league roster. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but the thing is that Baltimore's bullpen ERA hasn't been bad. But neither has Boston's. And Brian Bayo, you know, he did give up four runs in five innings against the Oakland A's, which is a little bit concerning. But both those starts for Brian Bayo to start the year have come on the road. And at home, he's been a much better pitcher over the course of his career from an ERA standpoint. Hasn't given up a whole lot. The wins and losses are something you'd like to see sort of correct over time. But the thing for the Boston Red Sox is that while you had back-to-back series against Oakland and, and Los Angeles, the Boston Red Sox have gotten out to one of the better starts in, in, in baseball this season. I mean, there's certain teams that, you know, come out hot and then sort of play to the back of their baseball card over time. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen with teams like the Pittsburgh Pirates and probably the Boston Red Sox this season. But right now, the Red Sox are playing well. They're hitting the ball well. You know, Brian Bayo, like I said, he didn't pitch well against Oakland, but he did pitch well on opening day in Seattle, you know, at home. He went 1-1 one and one against the, uh, the Orioles last season. And while the Orioles have been a strong team on the road going back to last year, yeah, they didn't have the best debut to their road, uh, road campaign this season. And right now, we're getting plus money. With a Red Sox team that staff ERA is right on par, it's actually better than uh, than the Baltimore Orioles bullpen ERA so far this season. The Red Sox working with a 1.45 staff ERA out of the pen, and um, you know I just think that I think they can get it done on the road here, or excuse me, at home here as a home underdog. I mean, you know the Orioles, yeah, like I said, they've been great on the road, but I mean these teams are almost identical in team OPS against right-handed pitching this season. You know the isolated power numbers they do strongly favor Baltimore, but Again, I'm just if if it's if I'm taking the first five, but maybe I'm taking the Orioles here because I do like Corbin Birds, or maybe I'm taking the under. But I'm still concerned about this Orioles bullpen right now. So give me the Boston Red Sox at plus money, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100 free. They're the best betting tools in the business, and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket. When you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.